What's up everyone, welcome back to the channel, Matt here, and today we're going to check out the latest expansion from Native Instruments, Electric Touch. Electric Touch delivers a main line to the modern R&B sound that's pushing today's pop music into new frontiers. Dip into a go-to blend of 808 style drums mixed with hyper playable chord progressions that will infuse your tracks with hit making velvety bounce right off the bat. This expansion includes exclusive machine content such as patterns and drum synth presets, 51 machine kits, 60 battery kits, 4 massive presets, 11 monarch presets, and just over a thousand loops and samples. First, let's check out some of these included machine projects. All right, today let's work in machine and see what electric touch can do. I already have a kit loaded up. Let's check out some of these sounds. First thing I'm gonna do is start with this harp. Let's chop it up and record something. Now let's add a low pass filter. Turn the cutoff down and now let's add some reverb. I'm just gonna play with a couple of the settings here. Turn up the space, the reverb time and turn the mix down a bit. Awesome, this is sounding great. Let's layer it with the guitar from the same group. Sounds great, let's also add some reverb to this. Now we got that in there, let's do some 808. This 808's great, I'm just gonna go to the keyboard mode. We're gonna click the semitone button and go down to F sharp, and then octave it down as well. I'm gonna change it to minor, makes it a little bit easier to play. I wanna play a little bit of a longer progression, so I'm gonna to go to my pattern and double it, make it four bars. I'm gonna zoom out so you can see. Let's go ahead and record. Eight oh eight sounds great. Now let's layer it with some drums. I want to do something cool with my kick drum using note repeat, so I'm going to make it a switch as opposed to a toggle. Change this to 64th notes. I'm just going to let this loop and layer in some hi-hats as well. Let's also turn off fixed velocity to give it some dynamics. I'm gonna switch note repeat back to toggle, layering some hi-hats. Got those in there, now let's pitch them with the touch strip. I also like this little one-shot hi-hat roll on the downbeats. This is really starting to come together here. I also want to throw in this riser sound on the downbeats. It has a cool little percussion tail.
Okay, last thing I want to do is chop up this vocal sample that's in the same group. We're going to go to sampling and we're going to make sure we're on slice mode. Then we're going to change it to detect so that way it'll actually detect all the transients for us and put them on individual pads. You can always adjust the sensitivity to divide the sound up more. Now we're going to hit apply and select OK. We're going to go to keyboard mode. I'm going to octave all the way down to the bottom, which would be C negative two. We got to switch this back to chromatic and change the semitones down. And here's where all our samples are. Now that it's chopped up, let's record something. And that's the last layer. Remember, all these sounds came from one group and it sounds completely different than the kit's demo. Let's check it out. And that's Electric Touch. Thanks for tuning in and be sure to check back soon for more videos on expansions and plugins. Check out Electric Touch at nativeinstruments.com.